<laughs> okay. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> what? I can't drink of water? <laughs> Okay, so hey babes, it's your girl Cory. We are back with another video. So today, girls, we are doing a um, a Q and A video, and I have a special guest, Miss Beyonce herself. I'm like, I didn't even know I was doing this today. Sorry, y'all. We gotta tell y'all, this is the funniest bitch alive, literally. Um, disclaimer: I'm missing a nail, so mind your business. I'm missing a toe, so we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna do questions that he's gathered from. Some of his people and um, some questions that I've gathered from some of my people. We're gonna mash them up and we're both going to answer them. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, yes. My name is Corey. Hi, I am transgender, um, MTF. You are? So we have a bunch of questions, but we're going to just like, I guess, pick some random or just read them. And they're uh, totally anonymous, right? Yeah. Okay, they're anonymous, so no one's gonna know who and, uh, asks what and. Unless I don't fuck with you. The fuck you in your question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any hidden talents or weird habits? Not really. All right, cut. <laughs> the video's done. Thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Any hidden talents? Um, I can put a dick away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually super good at hula hooping. I used to want to do it like as like a raver. So that's my hidden talent. I usually only do it whenever I see a hula hoop and I steal it from a child. I tried the hula hooping thing and you know, everything is a perfect body, so I gave the fuck up. <laughs> do I have any hidden special talent? Deep throwing? Girl, everybody knows that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know, literally. Uh, <laughs> so Marie, you've always wanted to travel outside of the USA. I've always wanted to go to Europe. Um, I want to go to the UK because I just, they're so lit out there and their energy is just, from what I can see, is just so different, you know, and I would just love to, I feel like my energy would definitely, you know, settle with that energy. Yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> I would probably like to go to Paris, I'll match but this time I wouldn't like to be abducted by random people. And then maybe like the United Arab Emirates, but not paid by some guy to pee on him. <laughs> <laughs> How do you prepare for sex? Anal, because I need some advice. Girl, well, uh, so basically what you do is, um, <clears throat> I'm sure you know about you know, the thing is called the dish, right? And it, I'm just gonna use this eyelash glue as an example because this is not the dish bottle, but it's kind of something similar to what it looks like. It is for So me. here, um, at the top right here, it's gonna be a little thing where you can take off and it's still, still gonna be like, you know, like this, right? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, um, I mean, you can use the chemical solution in there if you want to. That's totally up to you. Um, me personally, I don't really like putting on chemicals in my body stuff. So I just, you know, just pour that out and I'm just water in the, you know what I'm saying? So then what you do is you, you put it in like, you know, your ass part right there and um, you squirt it on up there, girl. And then like, once you're done with that, you know, you let it sit up there for a little bit. You know, I like to just twerk just to get the body moving, get the stuff moving up there, girl. So go ahead and get everything for the system to be cleaned out. Um, then uh, what I do from that point is, you know, you go ahead and you'll, you know, eventually you'll get the feeling where you need to release and let it out, girl. So then you let it out. You do that like at least 10 to 15, maybe even 20 times. And girl, you're gonna be clean as a whistle and you'll be ready to take it up your ass. Now you- <laughs> Wait till the water run clear. Yes, okay, make sure the water's clear. Stand over that tub for a good like 10 no, minutes. No partly cloudies, none of oh, that. Oh Lord. You know, I need the water to be Not clear. sunny with a chance. Girl, no. <laughs> no, ma'am. Dig Lovato. So. <laughs> for the meatballs. <laughs> How do I prepare for anal sex? Well, darlings, I'm a top. <laughs> so all I have to do is bring the dick. <laughs> <laughs> 
favorite fashion show? So I have a couple of favorite fashion shows. I would have to say Alexander Wang from 2016 in New York was one of my favorites. Um, we also have the D Squared show in 2004 with Naomi Campbell when she's running from the plane. Top that bitch. Oh, my favorite fashion show would be the Marco Marco Sweet <laughs> Century <laughs> Fashion. <laughs> That's it. That's the only fashion Collection show. Collection two? Yes, that Okay. One. It's not the only fashion show that I... Yeah, it's the only fashion show that I know. Um, I don't really watch fashion shows. I see them. Um, you know, I know about New York Fashion Week and all that, but I just don't keep up with the dates and the names and all that bullshit. Um, I know that there's Victoria's Secret fashion shows. I don't really give a shit about those. And yeah, there you go. Yeah, but we don't but I do support Victoria's Secret. Well, exactly. I don't. <laughs> all right, next question. What is your type of guy? Big dick. Sometimes uncut. That could work too. That's not my answer. You can go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, <laughs> my type of guy would be. I really hate this question. Okay, we'll do it. I really one. hate this question. Would you have sex with a girl? No, no, never have, and never will. It's just not my cup of tea. It's not anything I'm interested in, not anything I would ever have been interested in, or anything that I would see myself being interested in. Um, I have, uh, twice, same girl, twice, both times in a threesome. <laughs> um, I'm a slut, so yeah. I mean, I still would. But it would have to be a threesome, because I don't know. <laughs> or I'd have to be on drugs, but. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite time of the year, if you have one? My favorite time of the year is the time of the year when everything is just going great, you know? Um, and it's just like, you're not really stressing too much about anything and you know you just at a really good place and like everything just seems to be just you know going accordingly within that point in time now i'm not going to sit here and say what specific time that is because there's so many different times of the year in different years when that can be you know that time but i just enjoy moments like that you know when i'm just feeling my best looking my best you know like everything is just good no worries no stress you know what i'm saying and yeah, the highest times of the year, I guess you can say. My favorite time of the year has to be around October, when you can feel it getting cold again, because I hate the heat so much, unless I can dress like a slut. Um, and it starts to smell like olives outside. It's hard to explain. Oh, I know what you mean, like the dry humidity and all that shit. No, it oh. smells like olives because it's like cold. Oh. Or like you can smell like a fireplace. Like olives? Yeah, I just like October. I guess that would be my answer then. <gasps> Pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you like going to public or private events? I like both. Honestly, as long as I can like be seen anywhere and get cute um, Because like when I was younger I used to go to a lot of public events as I got older I started doing more private things um, But I mean I'm, I'm open, but you know, I like to have my adventures Okay, so I would definitely say that I like doing both Just because the public events you get to stun on everybody in the private events, you still get to stun on everybody. But more people see you at the public events. But I'm more of a private event kind of person. Mm -hmm. If you know me. Mm -hmm. Next question is How big is your wing? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is the most feminine thing about yourself? Mm. Um, my aesthetic. I would have to say my legs, because they're made of wood, or my eyebrows, 
like, I could look like a guy, but my eyebrows are so arched that I look like a woman in the face sometimes. <laughs> That's how I get the straights. <laughs> what is your favorite song right now? I have a couple of favorite songs right now. Um, Destinations by Gasafelstein. We Appreciate Power by Grimes featuring Hannah. Halcyon On and On by Orbital. Um, but if you want like mainstream music, nope. probably Bad Guy by Billie Eilish right now or <laughs> Break Up With Your Girlfriend by Ariana Grande just because it's the gay anthem. <laughs> Okay, so I have like a favorite artist I like to listen to because I was to their music in bulk. So I'd rather just name artists because like if I'm listening to like one artist, I listen to all the music just because like I just like all of it. So as of right now, that would be Megan Thee Stallion, of course. And I really fell in love with Miss Mulatto. Her shit's just been popping like, um, Kaya's music is so ratchet. I know it's like old as fuck, but it's just like, I just love the, whatever. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that's what I can say as of right now is my three favorites. The things that I always gonna repeat, I listen to every day. Like everything making a style from her old stuff to her new stuff, like Miss Mulatto, her freestyles, like, <laughs> and then Kaya, she just has a few like, a few songs that I just literally like play every day, so. Okay. The last time that you cried. The last time I cried was two days ago. I was watching The Last Twilight. <laughs> and it was the scene where they were all fighting and then everybody like all came together and they grabbed like the head. You know what I'm talking about? Carlisle's head. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I don't know why I cry. I always cry at like when That a real bitch sad. never cried. No. <laughs> um, the last time I cried was when I had messed up my front bumper on my car. Which was like <laughs> about a month ago. I'm like, last time you broke a lamp. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, I was so uh, defeated. Like, I was so devastated. It just, just can't. I can't deal. It's my baby. First thing you notice on someone. Dick print. <laughs> Even on girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first thing I notice on people would be, like their outfit because I just you know what? I'm not explaining my fucking self. I their outfit. <laughs> I'm like, well. <laughs> I'm not great. Are you still mad about something in the past? You know what, honestly I am, and I tell myself every day to let shit go, because without me letting it go, that's hindering me from anything that I have coming to me within my future. So I want to learn to just let go, so that way I can continue to move forward with my life. You know what I'm saying? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really care about anything. <laughs> if you know me, like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> For real. Like, I could give a motherfuck. Okay? <laughs> oh, like, I don't let anything, like, get to me that much anymore. I think I've grown more. Okay. Uh. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, what would it be? <laughs> to shut bitches up. <laughs> for life. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, my hand's gonna hurt me that. <laughs> Mine should probably be, like, to fly. Honestly and truly. Mine would be to control the weather. Because Storm <laughs> is like my favorite superhero ever. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm a big superhero nerd. Do you prefer the men's or the women's restrooms? Shall I go first? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the fucking men's. I'm kidding. No. Um, I <laughs> <laughs> I'm like in the bathroom using the urinal. I'm like... 
I'm like, y'all see that? <laughs> I'm like, get her out of here. <laughs> Bitch, I don't remember the last time I used the men's bathroom. I mean, unless I'm like drunk and the women's bathroom is full of other than that. Oh. And it has to be like a single one, like not one where there's other men can go in there. So yeah. Men's or women's restroom? I'm like, how about a private bathroom? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay. Y'all still have those? No, it's it really just depends on if I'm wearing like makeup or not, or if I'm fucked up enough. I'll go into the women's just because like, if I'm in full like geesh, I don't want to be in front of a lot of men like peeing right next to them. And plus, the girls are so nice in the bathroom, usually. Except for one time at the club, this Girl. lady like yelled at me to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on football. My skin looks fucking. Crazy. Next one. Have you ever had a stalker? Yes. Oh my god, yes, I did. So I had this one apartment in 2017, and this guy, like, he kept coming to my house, like, at late hours of the night, asking for somebody named Jeffrey. And I'm like, don't nobody named Jeffrey live here. And he's like, It was oh, me. Well, sorry. Je <laughs> Jeffrey told me that he'd be here. I was like, Well, I'm sorry, you have the wrong house. And he kept coming, and he kept coming, and he kept coming. Oh, but then I called the police and everything one time because it was getting out of hand and got that taken care of. Even though he like ran away or something. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Have I ever had a stalker? I had a straight guy one time that was supposed to have sex with me. And he, I don't think this counts as a stalker, but he like drove past my house and he saw me outside and he kept driving. Celebrity <laughs> <laughs> crush. Fuck, this is a hard one. It's so many of them. I know. Hold on. No, I'm a hoe in real life, so. Or used to be. Video coming soon. I'm like Michael Jackson. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I would have to say Anthony from Queer Eye, Gavin Leatherwood from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Chance Paradome from. I don't even know if that's how you saw his name. The guy who plays Ambrose from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I don't know. There's a lot of people I have crushes on. I don't fucking know. Um, Juice World, he's cute. I guess. I've never seen him. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I like weird guys with like... Same. Style and shit. Oh, I almost sent you money. Oh, <laughs> Apple <shit>. Pay. <laughs> Thanks. How are you currently feeling on hormones? I feel great. I <laughs> okay, so, um, hi, I'm transgender, if you didn't know. Um, <laughs> if you're just tuning in and actually made it this far. Seriously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. On the hormones, I feel great. Like, I feel like I'm on top of the fucking world, honestly. Like, look at my Adam's apple. I'm man today. Right. Um, yeah, so, like, I know. <laughs> you're like, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, I feel great, though, like, Honestly, there's not shit a bitch can say. There's not shit a bitch can do. Okay. What is your favorite drag queen? I will tell you right now. It is Willem. That is my number one fashion inspiration for everything that I do. And I would have to say... I, just Willem. Violet Trotsky, maybe? You're like, who? My favorite drag queen, um, um, I don't think I really have one, honestly, because I have not been keeping up with all the drag queens, so. Um, I would just name somebody from RuPaul's Drag season one, two, and three, which is probably like Sharon Needles, Chad Michaels, um, whatever. Okay. Raven. Oh, Lord. Bam. Bitch, I'm so fucking cute. Who is your biggest fashion inspiration right now? Back to me. Uh, <laughs> I would have to say Willem again because, I mean, that's just my biggest fashion inspiration. Grimes for sure. Brooke Candy. And Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. Her closet is like what I aspire my closet to be like. Okay, so I would definitely say a Nikita Dragon. Cleaners. <laughs> Rico Nasty, Asian Debrat. 
um, who else inspires me style wise? Oh, Doja Cat. Um, <laughs> that accent I had. <laughs> <laughs> Doja Cat. Doja Kitty. <laughs> She's Russian now. And that's it for now. That's it for now. I guess there's gonna be a two-parter. <laughs> <laughs> what is your most favorite live performance you've been to? Uh, that would be Cardi B, even though she performed for like five seconds. <laughs> really? Yeah. When did you see Cardi B? Uh, 2017. Where? Here. She was here? Yeah, Club Taboo. Really? Yeah, she was. Hmm. May 5th. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, I would have to say one of my all time favorites is Death Grips, even though I was like, my ribs were broken afterwards. Um, I lost a kidney and I was deaf for three days. Get your face. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the rest of this video, we're going to. I'm like, just, just a disclaimer. We're going to hit you girls with some adult questions because now we're bored. And we're ready to, like, get this bitch popping and exciting. Off me. <laughs> <laughs> Off me. <laughs> I told PR before I got here, if you touched me, oh. leave. What is your biggest turn on? Big dick. My biggest turn on is just a weird ass, vibrant ass, like, guy. I mean, like, from his style to maybe, like, his hair color or something, or maybe, like, your face, or maybe, like, um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, something like that. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. So, my biggest turn-on would have to be someone who likes the same music as me, because I'm weird. Someone who knows a little something about fashion, but I'm mostly into straight men. Is that weird? I'm like fighting you. So what's your favorite feature about yourself? My favorite feature would have to be my legs, for sure. Or my eyebrows. And I like my nose. And my lips. I think I like myself. <laughs> Same. <laughs> but I'm a little, uh, never mind. We're not gonna get into the dark parts. Oh my god. Okay, so. Your ass. My favorite <laughs> features about myself would happen to be my ass. Yeah, I bet you would like to see what I'm not going to show you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to show you, so... Kiss my ass. But yeah, on my ass, and I was going to say my lips, and... Ooh, I got the chills. Seriously? Uh, the chills? Yeah. Is that not normal? <laughs> what? I'm confused. <laughs> no, I think, I think this... Oh my god, here we go. I'm so <laughs> let me see. Let, let me show you. <laughs> you just put that part in. They watch the video. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go. Next question. How many guys have you been with over the past five years? <laughs> You're like. You're a fucking lie. Is I that a real question? Yes. Hold okay. on, I'll show you. I'm like, you answer first. <laughs> can someone get a calculator? The past five years. Or five minutes. <laughs> Next question. Honestly. <laughs> Have you ever done sexual shit in nature? Well, yeah, duh. <laughs> Who hasn't? I mean, when the guy comes to pick you up and you have to yeah, no drive off in his girlfriend's car uh, as quick as possible, of course. And you have to fucking, like, go to a secluded spot where no one can see you, like. I know. Oh, Jesus. When you get all dressed up and then he takes you to a street with the <laughs> light post off. Honestly, yeah. they cut all the car off and lights and windows are tinted. And then they say, so what are we doing? <laughs> I'm like. Okay. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me unbuckle the seatbelt. <laughs> unzip your pants. Unzip your pants. <laughs> I'm 
I'm like, it's uncut, it's hard to beat off. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, like, my wrist is tired and it just keeps going back and forth. It's like Play-Doh. <laughs> I get out, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Question, do you like to get head? I mean, who fucking doesn't? <laughs> Let's just be real. Bitch. Like, I love being skull fucked. For one. Or wait, giving or getting? <laughs> <laughs> getting. Oh. So, you know, like, honestly, I'm a freaky ass bitch. And I, I am five fuck. foot eight, 390. I am a fat. And I am a freaky bitch. Shh. Mind your fucking business. I like what the fuck I like, okay? What is your most proud moment? My most proud moment would have to be when I got my hormones the first day I started. I um, figured you would say that. Yeah. Uh, follow um, me on Snapchat and Instagram because I'm not on anything else right now. Um, at Corey Cheyenne. <laughs> yes, and. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you guys really enjoyed everything. I love you guys so much. Peace, love, and positivity. And yeah. Oh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, share, if you will. I don't know. But yes. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Nikki, don't drive. <laughs> I'm like... Do it again. Do it again. <laughs>